Will I see you again? Same time tomorrow. Will I hope so? Let's watch the midnight sky, and I won't say goodbye until tomorrow. Yesterday is gone. Today is almost over. Come on, let's stay up late, and we'll turn out today into tomorrow. I don't look like it either. So cool. Hey, do you know I played sports? Yeah, I played football in college yeah. actually. Yeah, it was Lucky fun. Year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> put this but basically everyone on earth is dead which sucks but we got to keep moving forward uh, no time to focus on the little things can't let everything get us down I was an assistant at a lab every once in a while when people were gone I would sneak in and work on my own studies I was working on a project observing the cause of recent changes in migration of the spotted frogs in South America but the results shocked me. It's all in the flag of frogs! I've been trying to tell you guys, it's coming! And then we'll have no control over what happens. The only population is out of the other and everyone's here. Yeah, you yeah. guys. Frogs for your life! So, after I was kicked out of the lab, I started developing the survival capsules in my basement. Uh, you know, one for me and one for the female specimen. Uh, f of course, for, for survival, uh, to keep the human race going. Well, you know, after months of groundbreaking calculations and advanced design, I, that one small fact almost uprooted the entire mission. <laughs> Ironic, huh? Uh, one area in which my many years of study have not equipped me well with is uh, communication, especially with the, the female gender. Hi, my name is Byron Stevens. You may find this hard to believe, but the world as we know it is about to end, and you're gonna die unless you come with me to my basement. Right now. Hi, uh, my name is Byron Stevens. I need a woman to come back to my apartment with me. It's not for sex, though. At least, not at first. Hi, my name is Byron Stevens. I have a business proposition for you. Uh, I pay you, all you have to do is come back to my place. <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures. So, uh, I was in the women's restroom. Byron comes running in and looks at my ring finger and says, You'll do. Then he carries me, kicking and screaming, and drives me to his basement. and. Puts me in a box, everything goes black. And then when I woke up, everyone else was dead. Kinda the opposite of where I thought that was going. Gotta admit, I was kinda relieved when we woke up and found out that everyone else had died. Otherwise, that would have been really awkward. So I'm running through the Catholic hospital, right? And I've still got the IV in my arm. The whole building's on fire, but I'm trying to get down to little Billy. He was trapped in the cellar. By the time I got down there, this burning crucifix fell off the ceiling and knocked me into the freezer. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was drunk, it was a Thursday, typical. I wake up, I'm in a freezer. My only regret is not saving more of those nuns and orphans, you know? I must admit, at first I was a little bit shocked when Nick showed up, but... It's not, I guess, a terrible thing that he's here. What's up with that Brian guy? I could really use the additional help. Now we can be a whole third more productive in rebuilding everything and getting work done. I mean, I don't see any other downsides. 
So we decided by a democratic vote to stop moving and set up a permanent camp. Aye. Aye.